Hello students, in this video we'll prove the nested interval theorem. So if we're given, so this is our nested interval, theorem, which says, suppose that we have a collection intervals ij, which is the closed interval from aj to bj, where aj and bj are real numbers, for j bigger than or equal to 1. And furthermore, we're going to suppose that they're nested. If i1 contains i2 contains i3 contains i4 contains in, if they're all nested like this, this is a nested condition, then the intersection of all of these intervals, j goes from 1 to infinity of ij, is not the empty set. So there's something in this intersection. This is the nested interval theorem. So what we're going to do is we have to get a sense of what these look like. So here's a copy of the number line. So you might have the closed interval from a1 to b1. That's contained in the interval, that contains the interval a2 to b2 etc, cetera, etc, cetera, a3 to b3, like this. Okay? And so note from this diagram, we can see the following. We can see that a1 is less than or equal to a2 is less than or equal to a3, etc, less than or equal to an. So it's an increasing sequence. And then these are a decreasing sequence, b1 bigger than or equal to b2, bigger than or equal to b3, bigger than or equal to, etc, bn. It's a decreasing sequence. And so we also know that every one of these a's is bounded by any one of the b's. So every, for any n, the collection of these points a, j, j bigger than or equal to 1, is bounded by b, n. So any of the b, n's serve as an upper bound um, of the collection a n. So therefore, um, by the least upper bound property for real numbers, I can set x to be the supremum of the set a j. And so note that um, x is the least upper bound, right? So we have one thing automatically. So all of the bn's are upper bounds for the collection of the a's. And x is the least of them, since x is the least. Upper bound. x is less than or equal to bn for all n. And since x is the supremum of the aj, we also have also a n is less than or equal to x for any n. So our conclusion is that a n less than or equal to x less than or equal to b n for all n. And that exactly says what? That exactly says that x is in the intersection in every single one and goes from 1 to infinity of these intervals i n. And that shows that since x exists, this is not an empty set. Thank you very much.